What's up guys? John here with Majestic. I want to show you guys real quick what I'm doing here. This is um, a wood cap that goes on top of uh, an iron rail that someone else did. It's a tight curb with um, an oversized curved on volute. This is the template I got. What we did here, we, we put this up against the iron and inscribed it. And this is how the, um, this is how the rail is. Let me see if I get you guys to see it. This is the part that connects with the volute. This part up here connects with the straight rail going up. So what I do is I lay here on this three quarter inch um, white oak, scribe it, cut it, and then I hit it with the bell center to keep it nice and straight. This rail is two and a quarter in height. So I'm gonna re repeat that process three more times. Then I cut it in half. I plane it down to a quarter inch. Then we go bend it at the job site. I'll show you guys pictures right now on this video of the uh, existing iron rail. But that's what I got going on right now with this one. I'll, I'll, I'll make a little um, video. I'll make little videos showing you guys the process. So right now I'm cutting the first strip. And here we go. Here are some pictures of the uh, iron railing where we're going to laminate this wood cap on. Just wanted to show you guys that oversized curved on volute and how tight the uh, the rail is going to be. It's going to be a bitch to bend, but we're going to take care of it. It'd be nice if I could play some music while you guys are watching these little parts. But once I put any type of music, they take the video down. So meanwhile, I'm stuck talking for you guys. There it is. So here's my um, template. It's following that. Now I'm going to give it a two and a quarter this way with the a piece of scribe I have that's about two and a quarter and then cut the full strip and then repeat the process um, three more times cut sand make sure it's nice and straight which it doesn't look like it but it's following my template okay here we go So here it is. I scrap it with this, which is the size of the rail, all the way across. And then cut that too with the jigsaw, and then repeat the process with the belt sander. And uh, here we go. There I am, scraping it two and a quarter. Then hit it with the belt sander a little bit because it needs to be cleaned. After that, finish scraping it and then hit it with the jigsaw and that's it. There she goes. Now I'm going to hit the top part with the bell sander. Because it came out like shit. But because this has different um, you know, curves, I, I can't hit it with the steel saw straight. I got to follow what the metal rail has over there. And now I hit it with the belt sand and then I scrape it onto this next piece to cut the next two. And then I go over to the uh, rips on cut it in half. So, yep, yeah, pretty easy once you know what you're doing. Okay, here we go. Gotta love those M Milwaukee tools. The jigsaw works nice. Before that, we used to use uh, Bosch. So, 
found this to be easier after I cut both sides instead of hitting it with the belt sander on that I clamp it on these two um, bases base and hit it with the belt sander and smooth out the top yep okay here we go this is something else I wanted to show you guys once I have wine cut exactly how I need it and sand it and straight um, after cutting it with the jigsaw a little bit bigger than than what it should be I hit it with the router and it comes out a perfect match the reason for cutting it with the jigsaw a little bit bigger than what it is um, I've done it when I leave say a half inch bigger and once I use a router it chips it off it eats it up some cases and it breaks it up and it did that to me in the morning let me show you guys wow, I cut this one in pieces because it, it, it just fucked it up oh here it is it did that I was here with the router this was the bottom of it and it just ate it up because I, I had left too much overhang now I just leave an eighth sometimes a quarter but I go against it and then I go with it and it also helps so yeah I just wanted to throw that in there I also use this instead of cutting with the jigsaw I mean jigsaw belt sander and then um, and then um, and then cut it in half so I use the router too and that helps all right guys let's get back to it <laughs> 